Hello again YouTube and this is my second bass tutorial and I thought we'd do Evelyn today and here's how it sounds. Foo Fighters because it says it in the title. Uh, Foo Fighters are like my favourite band as I answered on my first video which was Get To Know Matt. Uh, so yeah that's what we're going to do today and here's the first bit. So uh, the whole way through it starts off and it um, starts off with the guitar and uh, then the, the drums are in the background as well and it plays that twice through and then it comes to where you guys come in and by you guys I hope I'm talking to the bassist because if you're a drummer and you listen to this, it's probably not going to help you that much with your drums. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, so the first bit it's uh, normal tuning. Um, some people say you can have it in drop D. Uh, I personally think it sounds better in just normal tuning. Um, that's just me. If you like it and prefer, it's the same. Whatever. It, like if it's in drop D or normal tuning, it's just exactly the same. Um, so yeah, uh, here we go. So what you're going to start with first is the only two strings you're using is your E chord and your A string. E and A string, sorry, not chord. Oh, yeah. uh, and you're going to put your first finger and you're going to play, first note you're going to play is A, and your A string, fifth string, fifth fret, sorry. And you do that and you play that. Uh, you'll be able to go along the song, it's uh, 12 times. Yeah, like that. Um, and now if you go online and you go to tabs, it says that you go, you just go from that to going. Which is the next note you're going to learn. Uh, but I'll talk about that in a minute. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Um, so yeah, so it's A string. A string, 5th fret, that one, and you go from that 12 times, you jump down, jump down to the 2nd string, 2nd uh, fret on the A string, uh, and you play that uh, 12 times as well. And what I was saying before is, when you, when you jump to it, is it says on like the tabs and everything just to go from like that, just jump straight from it. From there to there. I personally, um, I do an off string beat, so I go. Like that. See? And then once again. I think that just sounds nicer and I prefer it. Uh, okay, uh, when, from the second fret on your A string you go to the third fret on the E string and you play that eight times. So, and that, so it goes. Almost done, and then you just drop, you jump back down to second fret on the A string, and do that another twelve times. And then you, once you've finished doing that twelve times, you come back and you just start the whole the the whole verse bit again. So all together, it's all like this. The, that's the verse and that's always going to be the verse bit and that plays eight times through so you do that eight times um okay so the pre-chorus is obviously it's the bit where it goes and it plays does that three times and um, what you do for that is you go from the fourth string uh, fourth fret on the a string and you play 
play it four times. Then fifth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, seventh fret. So it sounds like this. the pre-chorus and then it jumps straight into the chorus and it, that is basically just a short version of uh, the, the the verse and uh, for that you go from the pre-chorus you go to jump down to second fret on the A string and play that uh, five times then third fret on the E string five times and then up to the fifth fret on the A string five times. And you play that twice, and then you could do it, you play that twice, well, you do it three times, but on the third time, uh, once you've gone, when you've gone. E string but in the fifth fret and play that until it goes back to the verse and that if it's about uh, I think it's six six times you hit that So after you've done the first verse and the first pre-chorus and the first chorus, you jump into the main uh, verse again, uh, and you do that three times. Then you play the pre-chorus three times. Then you do the chorus as practiced, and you end on the E string fifth fret. You end on that one, and you wait because it's just the guitar part. Uh, it's when Dave Grohl's whispering the lyrics, um, which if you look up, they're quite interesting because it's about him and his dad not playing ball. Or playing bas basketball or baseball, I can't remember which one it is. But you should look at it; it's quite interesting. Um, and then, then you jump. There's no more verse after that. You jump and you do the pre-chorus bit again. You know the. Three times as usual, and then you do play the chorus. Play the chorus twice, and then you do the third one. Uh, again, ending in the on the fifth fret in the E string. Uh, but this time, you just play that. Keep playing. And you keep playing that until the end of the song. Okay, thanks, guys. That was my second bass tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much for watching it and uh, liking on the first bass tutorial. I did. Uh, if you haven't watched my other videos, uh, check out my channel and watch them. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye.